Common Core Look Fours for Mathematics is a great app. It allows an administrator, an observer, peer observer, coach to observe a teacher and to look at the class and to see how frequent look fours are appearing with regards to the Common Core standards for mathematics. It's great. It's very easy to view the data. It's very easy to enter the data. It's a simple process. It's, it's, a, it's an amazing app. We can look at the data very quickly at any time we want. We can drill down to see look for us for each practices were demonstrated. We can see data on those practices. But one feature here that would be really nice is, especially for teachers who you want to see progress with or just sort of track things through time, would be to compare different reports. And rather than having to look at one report then looking at the other, we built in the merge observation feature. And the way this works is when we're in this particular view, we can just tap Merge Observations. And what we then get is a little checkbox next to each of the teacher names that we have observations for, and we can choose if they're going to appear within this merge data. So for instance, I pick Teacher, and then at some point later, there was another observation for this teacher, so then I pick the second one. So now what we see is these are two bar charts for the same teacher, but on different dates. And the dates here in the legend help to guide that. And we can see how the data changes. For, for each of these observations, the distribution of look for is different. We can see how they've changed over time, for better or for worse, or however that's going. We can drill down in just the same as we did before. We can click on the different look fors and get more information about it. We can very quickly see how this teacher has been performing. Now what we can also do is say add Mr. Smith in. So now we're looking at Mr. Smith's data along with this teacher's two data sets. And if we want to take one of the other data sets out, say we want to remove the older teacher observation, now we're just comparing Mr. Smith and the teacher. All real time, easily manipulated. And uh, if we want to just filter down for instance, let's say we want to get rid of Mr. Smith, we just want to see over here the only options we want is for teacher. We can just type teacher and then these are the only ones that we're going to see in this data merge. And then if we want to go back, we can always reset the list. And now we could access Mr. Smith's observation again if we wanted to. This is great. This is really nice. And allows us to review data sets very easily in comparison to uh, past performances or uh, peers or other teachers or even any data sets that we may have imported to our iPad from another iPad. And we'll discuss importing and exporting uh, in another video, and that'll show you how you can share these, this content with your colleagues.